So good to see you here on this Wednesday morning. Hey, heads up if you're north of Bay City, we've got the potential for a few areas of some light freezing drizzle this morning, but elsewhere temperatures are above freezing and we're going to climb into the upper 40s today with scattered showers all day long. So keep the umbrella handy and not only will you need it today, you'll need it tonight as well as we're watching our next wave of low pressure move in. Out ahead of it though, we're starting to see the moisture filling in over the last six hours. Rain now across the thumb, especially west of 75 from Alma to Lansing along 127. But notice the pinks and the purple shades showing up here across northern lower. That's indicating temperatures hovering just cold enough to give us a few slick spots for travel, especially along M55 and northern sections of 75 and 127. So heads up near Oscoda, Gladwin as well, sitting at 32 right now, even in Midland, just barely hovering above freezing right now at 33, but well into the upper 30s here for the pier and Grand Blanc and not concerned about any slick travel in these areas. That could change though for tomorrow as we have the cold air making a return after a very warm day today. So here's the setup. An area of low pressure now hovering across portions of Illinois. Look at this band of showers and storms out ahead of it. That indicates some warm air being drawn to the north and there's also some thunder in there as well. And these this is going to give us the potential to see some thunderstorms even as we go throughout the day today. But notice again here in northern areas showing up in the pink and the purple. That's where we'll have to watch out for that slick travel. But as that warmer air continues to spiral in around that area of low pressure, we'll see all of this changing over to rain for the entire area. It looks like about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of rain falling. So we've got the icy threat here up north lasting from about 8 to 9 to 10 o'clock this morning, but the rain potential is going to be here in the south. And as we go throughout the rest of the day, notice that ice potential moves away. We get the green indicating all rain here across mid Michigan and in pockets of yellow. That's some heavier bands of showers and maybe even a rumble of thunder as well. Now from four to eight, watch what happens. We start to see some more blue showing up as our winds behind a cold front now shift more out of the west and northwest and these west and northwest winds are not only going to be bringing in the colder temperatures. We're also going to be bringing back the scattered snow showers by this time tomorrow morning. So from four to eight, we'll start to see it winding down, but temperatures will be hovering into the upper 20s and low 30s. And with today's rain still on the ground, that's part of the reason we could see some slick travel heading into your Thursday morning. Thursday afternoon, though, we start to see some sunshine returning and it is the first day of spring tomorrow. Definitely not feeling spring like with below average temperatures only into the upper 30s. Low 20s, though, coming up for Friday morning and then our next system will move in Friday night into Saturday. We could see some snow with it, maybe an inch or two, and then it turns very cold behind that system Sunday into Monday. High struggle to get into the upper 20s Sunday. Overnight lows Monday morning down into the single digits.